it's Jackie, and for today's tutorial, I'm recreating Rose from the Titanic's makeup look. I have two different lip combos in here, one more natural, one a little bit deeper like this one. So I hope you guys enjoy it, it's very elegant, and if you haven't seen my Rose hairstyle video, I will have that linked up here if you click the eye, then you can see that video as well. But for those of you who have seen that video and wanted a part two for the makeup, here it is. I hope you guys enjoy it. Thumbs up if you do, and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of my beauty tutorials. Jack and Rose forever, let's get into it. Start with moisturized skin and go in with a moisturizing, skin smoothing primer to help fill in any uneven pores. I'm focusing this mainly in the T-zone. And next for foundation, Rose is super fair and the skin look is high coverage and powdered, so I'm mixing my Rimmel Mousse Textured Foundation with the Body Shop Lightning Drops and I'm doing this on the back of my hand, blending together with my Beauty Blender and then stippling all over the skin. A little goes a long way with this mix and be sure to blend beneath the jawline as well. You could also try out a cushion foundation. The foundation is pretty high coverage, but if you need to brighten up any other areas, I really like the Tarte Amazonian Clay Concealer in the lightest shade, and mine's almost out so I'm just taking a little bit on my beauty blender and making sure underneath my eyes are bright as well as my smile lines and on the high points of my nose. Before powdering the skin makeup in place, we're going to use two cream blushes. Of course, you can just go in with one, but I like to layer them and give a really pretty flush. So first I'm using Fresh Pink, which is a Maybelline Dream Bouncy Blush shade, and I love it. I've used this so many times. And I'm taking a stippling brush and applying this to the bottom of my chin going upwards, and then also with this pink shade on the uh, tops of my cheekbones, as well as a little bit everywhere. I just really like to stipple little tiny bits of this color all over the skin so it looks natural. And finally, take this with your finger and apply it to the center of your lids upwards reaching the brow bone. The Maybelline Dream Bouncy Blushes are some of my favorite cream blushes from the drugstore, but a higher end option is the Makeup Forever Cream Blushes. I love those as well, so I'm taking more of a deeper, tawnier shade and I'm going to add this more to the apples of my cheeks and a little bit under for more dimension to the face. And again, I'm just taking this and speckling it a tiny bit all over and I really like the combo. And now that we have this rose inspired flush, it's time for powder. She's definitely very powdered and I'm using the Kryolan Translucent Powder for TV and Film. I love this one and it has more of a white cast to it, which is perfect for very fair skin because sometimes if you have anything with a bit of a tint to it, it'll oxidize the foundation a bit deeper. So I love this one and how I apply it is in a downward motion so that it doesn't pick up any hairs going upwards. So I'm just uh, smoothing it downwards. This has a very smoothing effect and I love the look of this. You can totally leave the skin super powdered, but I decided to go in with Too Faced Candlelight Glow. This is a very subtle um, illuminating powder and I'm applying this to the high points of the face just so I look a little bit more skin-like and healthy and glowing. This next step is completely optional. I know we already used two blushes in this tutorial, but I'm going to set the look and add a bit more dimension with the shade Desert Rose from MAC. This is a matte shade and it's a bit deeper and tawnier. And if you have a deeper skin tone, you could just go in with this blush instead and it'll give a very romantic look as well. Rose is more baby faced, so you can skip the contour if you want to, but I'm taking a ashier brown. This is Nudie from Too Faced. I use this all the time for contouring and I'm applying it slightly under my cheekbone, stippling it a bit. I still want it to look natural, just a slight shadow. And then to make myself appear more like Rose, I am going to take it and define the tip of my nose a little bit, slim down my nostrils, and then add a contour in between my eyes. So my bone structure is a little more like Rose. Still using the Too Faced Natural Matte Palette. This is what I'm using for the rest of the tutorial. I love this palette. I'm taking the shade Risqué and I'm applying this in the inner corner again to deepen up the contour. Might look a little bit funny right now, but it'll tie in the whole look. And now that that's complete, it's time to move on to brows. I'm using this Rimmel Brow Kit. This is called the Brow This Way. And mine is in the shade medium brown, but it does pick up a little bit reddish, which is good for this look. So first I'm going in with the gel side and I'm combing out my brows, seeing how I want them to lay. And then I'm going in with the powder and filling in any sparse areas. I'm keeping them fairly natural and a bit rounded, underplaying my brows. Sometimes I overdraw them for some looks, but this is one that I am keeping them a little bit more played down. And now we can move right on to shadows. 
The shadows are very simple and soft and easy to do. The first shade I'm using is Cashmere Bunny from the palette, and I'm applying this from the contour from the inner portion of the eye, just above the crease in a rounded motion. And then when you get to the outer corner of the eye, you're going to create a very slight V, but keep it still more on the rounded side, and this will help add some de definition to the eye again. And next, I'm going in with Risqué one more time and deepening up at the inner and outer corner, and just really making sure that it's soft and blended in. Once you have that complete, I am going in with Chocolate Cookie, which is more of a warm shade, and I'm applying this just to the outer corner and fading it inwards, and we're gonna take this same shadow and apply it underneath the bottom lash line in the inner corner and the outer corner and fade it in through the center. Here I'm just blending out the shadows and adding a matte highlight shade. This is Heaven from the palette. And then for all over the lid, you could use Heaven again, but I did opt for a brighter shadow and I'm applying it all over to the lid and in my inner corner as well. And before moving on to eyeliner, I am adding just a pop of that Maybelline Bouncy Blush in the center of the lid again for that pop of pink. Now for eyeliner, I'm using CoverGirl Intensify Me in the shade Smoked Amber. This is one of my favorite drugstore eyeliners. I think it's really easy to use and the brown shade is really pretty for everyday looks. So I'm just tugging on my eye a tiny bit. I don't normally do that, but it is a very thin line. So I wanted to make sure I didn't mess up. And I'm just using little strokes, connecting them together. And instead of winging it out like I normally would, I'm just letting it fade off. And so it appears a bit softer, I'm going back in with my matte palette and I'm using Risqué and just patting the shadow over top. This makes it appear softer and if you have any little wiggles in the liner, this should help camouflage it. Next, take a medium tone brown liner and rim this all the way under the bottom lash line. This will help define the lashes and I'm actually using an eyebrow pencil here because my brown liner cracked and I couldn't find the right sharpener for it. So I just went in with a brow pencil, but just use any brown liner that you have. Curl your lashes, and I'm using a lengthening mascara. This is Benefit's They're Real, one of my favorite mascaras, and when you're applying it to the bottom lashes, let it sit for a second, but then take your finger and run it back and forth to get some of the excess product off. This will soften up the look, and I hope you guys like this eye makeup look. I think it's really nice and elegant. And now just for two lip combos. For this first nude lip combo, I'm using the MAC and Mariah Carey So Dramatic Liner and I'm overlining my top lip, rounding out the corners a bit and then making sure that my cupid's bow is sharper to mimic her look. And then I'm filling in the rest of my lips with the shade Yash from MAC. Dab off any excess lip product and there you have the completed rose look. I was specifically inspired by this picture, but I do have a lip combo coming up more inspired by this look as well. Keep on watching if you wanna see my completed look with the hair and the outfit I chose, as well as again, the second lip combo. If you wanna see how to get these rose inspired curls, again, you can watch my first rose tutorial and you'll also see how to complete these three looks. But for this look, I just pinned a couple of front sections backwards with bobby pins, added some panty and air spray for a flexible hold, and then I went in with my favorite shine serum along the bottoms of the hair. And for this outfit, I just layered some dainty ruffled clothing items I have, and it ended up working really well, and it's similar to her nightgown I think she was wearing here. And I also have a blue pendant I was gifted at Christmas, so thumbs up if you like this complete look. my second lip combo. First, I'm overlining my lips like I did before with MAC Plum Liner, and then I'm going in with Cheese Cosmetics Dash of Plum Lipstick. Everything appears a little bit more red on me, but I really like these shades, and I'm just dabbing out like before so I have more of a natural look. And here you have it. Now you can put up your hair and get ready for a fancy dinner like Rose, and I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know which lip combo is your favorite. watching. I hope you guys enjoyed my second rose tutorial and if you did, as always, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me out. And subscribe if you want to see more beauty videos every week. I have so much fun doing movie movie recreations. <laughs> so if you'd like to see any more of those, let me know in the comments. 
I also want to say another thank you to anyone who sent me something in my P.O. box last year. I had so much fun opening letters and everything, and I'm sorry if I haven't responded to some of you guys, but I have a lot of letters that I'm sending out this week. So if you're waiting on a letter from me, then you should be getting one soon. And special thanks to Michaela. In my P.O. box, I got these adorable uh, mermaid socks and this gorgeous mermaid pendant, as well as this mermaid card. You know I love my mermaids, so thanks Michaela and thanks to everyone for watching. I'll see you guys in my next tutorial.